Hello and welcome. Over the years, a lot of viewers have reached out to us with a common question. Should we consider doing a Six Sigma green belt or black belt? Or should we consider doing a course in data analytics? If you face the common dilemma, hopefully this video is going to help you. Before we move any further, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. And please share it with others who might benefit. Let's get started. So here is a phone. And I'm sure your phone doesn't look like this anymore. You use something like this, the device on the right. But has the core purpose or the core requirement changed? The core requirement of using a phone is to be able to make and receive calls. And I completely agree that you do a lot more than just making and receiving calls with your phone nowadays. From booking a cab to ordering your food, you pretty much do everything using your phone. It's your 24 seven companion. One more example, a computer. And I'm sure your computer doesn't look like this anymore. It has changed to something that you see on the right here. So the computers were initially used only for programming and accounting related stuff. And today you do a lot more. You do your presentations, you send and receive emails. You have a lot of applications. You can have customer relationship management tools if you're using it at work. And you can be collaborating with your coworkers and clients using your all in one systems. So let's understand how is this example relevant for us today? Let's understand how Six Sigma evolved. Six Sigma has been there for more than three decades. It is known for getting to the root of a problem by understanding the involved processes. The most important part here is understanding the involved processes. A lot of people think that data analytics is all about coding. It's all about learning different programming languages, but that's not the case. Coding is just one part of the skill. You could be a very smart coder who is comfortable writing long code chains. You could be a person who knows the algorithms inside out, but you can never be a good consultant. You can never be a good problem solver till the time you do not understand a business process, the business for which you're trying to solve a problem. Compared to a person who just has an overview of analytics, a person who has in-depth understanding of this topic would be able to ask for more relevant information from a client basis his understanding of the business processes. So understanding the business process is a core requirement in data analytics. And let's understand why Six Sigma became such a success. It's primarily because it is a data driven approach. So now it's time for Six Sigma practitioners to think how good you know your data. Has the field not evolved over the years? Yes, Six Sigma teaches you an end to end methodology, which is a proper DMAC framework. But understand that the techniques to explore the data have been a lot more empowered now than they were ever because of the changes in the computing, primarily in the storage and processing power of your computers. So the kind of depth of your data that you can explore today was never possible earlier. There was never a better time to be able to learn analytics. But where does it take us? Let's go back to our example that we picked up. So a computer and a phone. And don't you see that nowadays we are talking about two devices communicating with each other. It is very common for you to be able to reply to a business email right when you're attending a meeting without going to your desktop. You're replying it right from your phone. You're accessing your social media on your computer. So the way forward is probably in synchronization and you're living in these times when it is happening. Why can't we extend the same approach to Six Sigma and data analytics? Six Sigma provides you the essential width it covers an entire wide spectrum of project management. It's a proper approach, data driven approach, accommodates some of the best practices, which can be qualitative as well as quantitative and supported with the necessary depth that you have available in analytics today. It can do wonders, but please realize it's not that the core requirement that changes the core requirement will still be intact. So you can't drop six Sigma saying that it's an old school approach. Honestly, six Sigma is a superset. But working with the Six Sigma tools over the years, we've realized that the kind of depth that we get from analytics today was never possible earlier. The entire tool landscape has completely changed. And the most in demand part here is, of course, the predictive analytics, because you're able to predict with a lot more confidence than you ever were able to. Therefore, to conclude, we can say it's not about either or. The time has come when we take them together. Hope you like the video. And if so, please feel free to share it with others. When you share your knowledge, it gets multiplied. Thank you.